I have a DualSense controller. Now, if I try to play Minecraft with any controller, whether it's Xbox or PlayStation, it doesn't work. But in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play Minecraft Java with a controller for Forge and Fabric or Quilt. This video will be split into two parts. The first being using a controller with Forge and the second part will be using a controller with Fabric or Quilt. And if you have no idea what Forge or Fabric is, they're both mod loaders for Minecraft Java and you'll be using a mod to play with a controller. Seeing as you have no clue what these are, I'd watch through the whole video to see which method you'd prefer. But if you already use Forge or Fabric, still consider watching the whole video because you never know when you might swap to the other side. Anyway, let's begin with Forge. I'm going to leave the links in the description for all the websites I use in this video. And the two websites you need for the Forge method are the Minecraft Forge website, if you haven't already got it installed, as well as the controllable mod by Mr. Crayfish, which we will be using in this video. So if you don't already have Forge installed, go to the first Forge link in the description and choose which version you want to use. I'd recommend at least 1.19.3 or 4, maybe not 1.19.4 as this is still the latest. 1.19.3 has a recommended version which is probably more stable, but in this case I'm going to use the newest version 1.19.4. So once you're happy with the version you've chosen, click on the installer button. You'll be redirected to this page, just ignore everything on the page. Wait for this top right corner to say skip, click skip, and it'll start to download the Forge jar file. Once you're done with that, you can just close this website as we do not need it. Now heading to the second Forge link in the description below, we'll go to Mr. Crayfish's website, which has the controllable mod. So scrolling through this page, we have the downloads section. We can also look at the screenshots. We can all that and just scroll down to the downloads. And the controllable mod works from 1.19.4 all the way to 1.12.2. Now make sure that the Forge version you use is the same as the mod version you use. So in this case, we're gonna use 1.19.4 as well. To do that, just click the download button. And this time it should, after a few seconds, just begin downloading. And if you get this warning here that it may harm your computer, it's not gonna harm your computer. It's a Minecraft mod. Just click on keep and it should just download. So once you're done with that, you can just close the browser. We do not need to download anything else. Now, if you still have your Minecraft launcher open, I recommend you close it because we're about to install and it can get a little confused. And sometimes the profile which we're about to install might not show up, which might cause some problems. So now locate where those mods have been saved to, which in this case, I've moved them to this tutorial folder. And from this list, you wanna click on the first mod we downloaded, which is the Forge mod. It'll say Forge and then the version you installed. So to install it, just double click on it and it should make a window pop up. We've got the mod system installer. Now a big issue that happens is that when they try to run Forge, it just doesn't open and that's because you don't have Java installed. So in that case, you're gonna have to download it. I'll have the link in the description below. It will be this page. You just click download and install it. It's pretty simple. And once you do that, you might have to restart your computer. But once you close that, you should be able to open Forge and install it. But once you have this pop-up, click on Install Client. You don't have to worry about any of these other settings. Although, if you have saved Minecraft to a different folder, you might have to tinker with the path that's set here. But in most cases, it'll already be the same. And if you have changed it, you probably know what you're doing. And anyway, make sure it's just on Install Client and click OK. And this might take some time. It shouldn't take too long, maybe like... 30 seconds but once it's complete it'll say successfully installed client profile forge version 1.19.4 or whatever version installed and you can just click ok and it'll all close so now you can just minimize wherever you've saved those mods and now you can launch the minecraft launcher so assuming that you've done everything correct to this point you should have a forge profile here so when you click on it you've got latest snapshot latest release and forge and obviously if you've used other launches or other mods you probably have some other things in here, but we don't want to run Forge yet because we haven't actually put the mod in the mods folder. So to find the Minecraft directory, we can click on the installations page and on this Forge tab, we can click on the folder. And that should open the .minecraft directory. And from here, you might have a mods folder already. And if you don't, what you want to do is you want to right click, click new, folder and just call this mods make sure you spell it exactly the way i did all lowercase one word now minimizing the launcher we can have the dot micro folder open as well as the folder we saved the controllable mod in and what we can do now is we can open that mods folder we just made and drag in the controllable mod and once you've done all that you can close all of these windows and run minecraft so click play and hope for the best so immediately once Minecraft launches, you might be able to use your controller to play Minecraft. 
you can see that I can use the left analog stick to move around and click on options. I can change all the settings. But if your controller doesn't immediately start to work, you might want to go to options and see this new controller button here. You can click on that and you should be able to see all the controllers selected. Maybe your computer has detected some other controller you're not using, maybe like a steering wheel. Anyway, make sure the controller you're using is selected. I'm using the PS5 controller. And if you've selected the controller you're using, but it's still not working, you might wanna go to bindings and make sure all of these are set correctly. And if some buttons work, but some don't, you might wanna make sure they're binded properly. You can see I can move the analog sticks on the screen. I can press all the buttons. And there are noises and there are visual cues showing that the controller is working with Minecraft. But once your controller is ready to go, you should be able to start a world and play with the controller. And if you're already familiar with the controls, it might be very easy to get used to. But basically, you know, you've got the X button or A on an Xbox controller, that's jump. Right analog stick is to look around. Left is to move around. You can press the right trigger to break blocks. You can press Y or the triangle button to open the inventory. Let's select some colored blocks purple wool why not and you can use the left trigger to actually place blocks and there are a few more controls you know we've got um the like f first person changing the camera if you press the up d on the d-pad and that's essentially how you play minecraft with the controllable mod on forge we can go through a few more settings if you click options and the controllable and the settings page we've got a lot of settings that you would want to change like mouse speed when you're using the controller or the rotation speed of the camera there's plenty of other stuff to play around with here and make it really comfortable to play with a controller on Minecraft Java. But that is essentially how to play Minecraft Java with a controller for Forge. So now onto Fabric. What you want to do, open your browser and go to the first two Fabric links in the description below. It'll be the fabricmc.net as well as Midnight Controls, which is the mod we're going to be using. So make sure you're on this page that has the download here button as well as Fabric API. Let's begin by downloading the Fabric Loader. To do that, we can click on Download here, and that should bring us to this page, and there's a big blue button that says Download for Windows. Just click on that one. And the good thing about this compared to Forge is that you can just download one executable file that allows you to install all the other versions of Minecraft. Whereas with Forge, you'd have to download a separate file for each version. So we just have one file to download for this. But then once you've done that, go back. Below that, there should be Fabric API for Minecraft 1.14 and above. You want to click on that one and that should bring us to curseforge.com so to download fabric api click on the files button and then look for a version you're using in this case we're going to be using 1.19.4 so as you can see fabric api make sure you click on that one and click on download file not install because we're not going to be using curseforge to download it once it's there just click on keep now we can close this and now lastly we just have to download midnight controls so you can scroll down and you can see here featured versions if your version isn't already here you can click on see all and look at all the ones here so in this case we are going to be using fabric 1.19.4 but if you are going to use quilt there is a version for that as well in this case we're going to be using just fabric so i'm going to download this top one now that that's downloaded those are all the files we need we can close the browser so now locate where you've saved all of those files and we're going to begin by installing the fabric installer so click on the .exe and once this window pops up, Fabric Installer, make sure that you're on the client one. We don't have to go on server. Client is the one we want. And then here under Minecraft version, we've got 1.19.4, which is what we're gonna be using. We've also got a range of other versions that you could potentially use. Just make sure the version you're using here is matching the Midnight Controls version we've got, which is also 1.19.4. And you shouldn't have to worry about loader version. That should already be set to the newest one, depending on the version you've selected. And then here we've got the path. You shouldn't have to change this unless you have personally changed it. In that case, you probably already know what you're doing with this and you can change it to wherever your Minecraft is actually saved. In this case, mine is already set to that. And then below that, we've got create profile. Make sure that is ticked. And before we install this, make sure that you close your Minecraft launcher because it can get confused and cause problems when you're actually trying to run the profile. So just close it for now and click on install and there we go it was very quick it says that fabric load has been installed and it says that some mods require fabric api which is what we have downloaded so click ok and you can close this now you can reopen the minecraft launcher and hoping that everything has worked out so far you should have fabric loader 1.19.4 show up in your profiles and you might have some other profiles in here in this case we don't need to touch any of those all we have to do is this fabric loader 1.19.4 or whatever version you've installed. But now we have to actually put the mods in the mods folder. So to find the Minecraft directory, go to installations, and then under the fabric loader, click on the folder, 
and this should open the .minecraft folder. Now I can minimize Minecraft and open the folder where we've saved all of our files as well as the .minecraft folder. And now if you already have a mods folder in the .minecraft folder, then just use that or else as we don't have one, make a mods folder, just name it mods all lowercase, no spaces, no capitals at all, just like that mods. You can open this and we are gonna drag in fabric API as well as midnight controls both into this folder and once you've done both of those things you can close all of these windows and now you should be able to go back to minecraft and click on play and now that minecraft's loaded you should be able to use the left analog stick on your controller to move around the mouse we can go through the options we can click on menus video settings if you wanted to for some reason we can't use the d-pad to go through the menus so we will have to use the analog stick for now but we can click on done here what we can do is we can go to this controls tab here and there should be a secret extra button here, which is a small controller. I want you to click on that. We should get access to all of these midnight control settings. There are plenty of settings you can change here. You can play around with all these settings and if your controller isn't working, you can actually try to rebind them. Make sure all the buttons are set to what they should be set to, as well as changing them to however you'd want them to act. Got some extra settings here and the mappings file editor, we can import a map file if we have already used a custom mapping on a controller with other programs. But in this case, we don't have that. And our controller does work, so we can just click done. We can get out of here. And now that we're in, we've got access to playing with a controller. So if you are familiar with how to play Minecraft with a controller, it's pretty simple. The A button or the X button on the PlayStation is jumping and we are in creative mode so we can fly around. If we double click it, we can push in the right stick to go down and crouch. The breaking blocks is the right trigger and placing blocks is the left trigger. And we can access the inventory by pressing the triangle or the Y button. Let's select some oak logs here place down these oak logs build a house and by default the sensitivity was actually set pretty high for me so I did change it but you can change this to however you want depending on how you like to play Minecraft so I've just built the worst house ever created in Minecraft using controller and you can see it it is it, it yeah it's it's okay it's it's real it's nothing special it, it it's terrible